Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I want to make a quick video talking about how to test a remote control and give you a few tips for selling them on eBay. This is something that I've always liked to sell because it's pretty easy to list, easy to ship. You're not going to make a ton of money out of them, but you can get them super cheap, sometimes free, so it can definitely be profitable. First thing with testing them, obviously you got to make sure you have good batteries because if your batteries are no good, then you're not going to learn nothing. So I like using one of these little battery testers that you can get on Amazon. Mine is the Defantix brand, but it really doesn't matter. There's a ton of them out there. Just put the battery in there, positive to red. And look at the gauge. When it's in the green, it's good. Yellow's low. Red is bad. Yellow's fine for this purpose. So and then to check to make sure that you actually have a good remote, all you need is a cell phone. So, get your cell phone out, open the camera, get your remote, aim it at your cell phone camera, and start hitting some buttons. I don't know if you can see, it's really, it's too bright. Let me turn off the light. All right, you see when I'm hitting buttons, you can see the infrared lights up that tells us this remote is working you don't have to hit every button hit a few of them it lights up you're good to go so whether you want to sell a remote on eBay or not that's all it takes to test to see if your remote is working or not now a couple other eBay tips look you can get these at garage sales sometimes free people just have in a box at the end of their driveway and you can just grab them thrift stores 49 cents 99 cents most people just don't want them. They'll just pass them up. And that's what makes them such a good item to pick up for eBay. All you have to do is, like, this one's a dish remote. I have a similar one right now. I have it listed for $10 plus shipping. So, And I probably got it for free or $0.49 cents or something. All you need is the... We can get it to focus. All you need is the model number there. So the 119946... Almost everything will have a model number to look up. And you can see other sold listings to see what it's going for. Now what I do once it's listed is I'll wrap this thing in plastic in my thermal sealer. And then I will put a sticker on it with a number. eBay allows you to add SKU numbers to your listings. And I'll just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They'll all go in a tub. And then one sells. I just know, okay, number five sold, and I go get that. And I don't have to worry about sending the wrong one or rechecking the model numbers on all the remotes anytime one sells. It's a really handy way to keep everything organized. You can just throw it in like a Ziploc bag or something. I use a thermal sealer with shrink wrap, and it works out really well that way. But you can come up with something similar. Anyways, that's it, guys. Just a real quick video. Talk about testing these remotes couple tips on eBay. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like, subscribe, or not your subscriber. I'll see you guys next time.